I hope this is a catfish. Ooh, ooh. All right, folks, I'm telling you, we are on the backside of winter. Actually, it's the last day of the, what I call the meteorological winter. It's February 28th, we're getting ready to come into March. It's what I consider spring. We've still got three weeks of calendar winter left, but today is feeling a little bit like spring. 50 degrees this morning. A big difference from the lows that we've had down in the 30s. We had a high yesterday that was near 70. Today, it's gonna be in the mid 60s. It's starting to feel a little bit like spring. So with that in mind, I'm gonna put the winter pattern fishing behind me. I'm gonna shift gears here today. This is gonna be a big shifting gears coming into spring. And I'm gonna do some exploration. This is a little bit of prospecting. No guarantee on what we're gonna to catch today, but I'm gonna try a springtime pattern. See if any fish are there yet. Gonna be anchoring up, gonna try some shallower water, and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Tell you what, it is foggy, foggy, foggy. It is thick, man. It's gonna be interesting to uh, get down the lake in this stuff. I'm glad I got mapping. Uh, I'm glad I got a chart on my boat because this is going to be tough making it down to uh, down to where I want to fish. That right there, guys, is a buoy, a no wake buoy that is up here around one of the bridges. It's washed down and it's kind of out of position and that'll happen in the fog you'll hit stuff like that it's thick guys it's really thick believe it or not there's a bridge up here you may be able to see it better in the video than you see it in person it's nice when you get a little bit of structure like that you can actually see a little bit better a little reference to what you're actually running into when you're out there in the middle of the water with nothing and it's tough Yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is the uh, first day that we've had that really just kind of hints of spring. And it's nice to be out here in 50 degrees in the morning. You don't have to dress up really warm for it. It's foggy. It's muggy. It feels springy. Uh, we've still got some cold temperatures to come, I'm sure. But uh, we're on the backside of winter. And this is the time of the year that a lot of us fishermen really love. Hunters too, it's turkey season. Turkey season's coming in here in another month. So it's when stuff comes alive and it's not just catfish, crappie, bass, everything starts to come alive now. And uh, these warm, these water temperatures will incrementally start to go higher. They're at about 50 degrees now. We saw some stuff in the mid forties. We didn't get super cold this winter. We didn't get a shad kill here in the Carolinas. So uh, we've, we've had a pretty mild winter relatively speaking. So. It's going to be nice to have some of these warmer mornings. We'll still have some cold ones, no doubt. Uh, we're a long way. We're a month away from our last freeze here for sure. But uh, it's good to be out here. Geese squawking in the background. They'll be staging up to do their nesting here in a few months, a couple weeks, three weeks. I, it's usually at the end of March when I see them start nesting up. So it's good to feel it. Now if we can just catch a fish. I hope this is a catfish. Ooh, ooh. He hit it in about two feet of water. Tuck off. This is on a shad bait. Fish was all the way over here. It's all the way over there now. Blew up on top of the water. I love it. Good fish, good fishing, good fishing. Let him calm down for a little bit. And yes, folks, that was a shad bait. He nailed it. Man, when they hit this stuff in shallow water, they ain't got nowhere to go. And that's a good thing, I guess. Woo! 
I'm gonna bring him to this side of the boat, I believe. Get him around the anchor rope. Ooh, there he is. Nice blue. Oh yeah. Like I said, if I was fishing in striper water, I would have swore that was a striper. The way it blew up on top of the water. Good rod being there. Nice fish. Nice fish. Hey, say. Hey, say. Got him. Got him. Here, piggy, piggy. Ah, simmer, 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 simmer. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Got some old scars on them, some mud, too. Pretty fish. Pretty one. Let's put him back a lot so that you can catch him. Easy trigger. There we go. Boom. Yeah, guys, this one came on uh, the green reel, the carnivore, which means it's a cut bait rod and reel combo. That's one of the uh, PC fun reels I've been trying out, one of the spinning reels. Put me another piece on there. It's had a small piece of bait. One of the Viper X reels. You can catch them on spinning tackle, folks. And you can do it affordably. Bait casters are great. Nothing against them. I got a boat full of them. But you can catch them on spinning tackle. So I've got these on my website. A link to them. DieterMelhornFishing.com And I'll also try to put you a link down in the description section where you can get them. One thing I can't give you a link to is where to catch the fish. We're trying to figure that out. All right, guys, sun's starting to come out. Fog is burning off. And we're getting a little bit of wind. Uh, I made a little move, I don't know, a quarter of a mile up the uh, river, anchored in another spot, and uh, I've had a bunch of bites, uh, but they look like really, really small fish. No hookups. Uh, they're just popping on these baits. Some of them are carrying them off. Got a feeling there's some really small channel catfish in here. Normally I say turtles. Water should be a little cool for turtles. It's only about 50 degrees, but who knows with the weird weather we're having and weird seasons we're having and everything going on. So uh, anyway, I've been here for about an hour and I'm gonna make a move, try another spot and uh, just see if we can find a magic combination up here to put another, another good fish in a boat. All right, guys, finally got one going here. If I don't tear the hook out of his mouth, he ain't big. I'm gonna nurse him in. Oh, yeah, this is on a piece of cut bait. I am not sure if I put a piece of shad back out on this one or a piece of spotted bass. I had a spotted bass in my live well that I've had in there for three months. And uh, I cut him in the fillets. And, Me a piece of shad because it is gone. That is just a channel cat that may end up getting eat. I may take him back and eat him. I'm gonna throw him in the live well. I wouldn't mind eating a couple of fish tonight. I haven't had any in a while. Open your mouth. Yeah, I'm betting it's shad. It's a good eater size channel cat. I'll throw him in here. We'll see if I catch any more. Considering how many I've caught so far, I'm gonna keep him alive in case I don't catch any. 
get these baits back in the water, see if I can get another one. Little gizzard shad, a small one. Tell you what, if I ain't gonna eat that, even a small fish ought to hit that. We'll see. We'll see. That's all you can do. Yeah, I gave the last two spots about an hour each, and uh, last one didn't produce anything. A bunch of little popping bites but no fish nothing really really aggressive feeding uh and that first spot's the only one to produce a blue so i don't know i may give this 45 minutes or so we'll see and uh but dog don't come eat me dog's gonna come eat me he don't like me it's okay you gotta swim a long way uh man yeah, we'll see wind's picking up a little bit which doesn't really bother me i'd love to be drifting in some of this but i really want to try the anchor bite today we got good current, we got good bait. We just need a good, good bite. Oh, I didn't get the takedown on camera. Uh, see the boat moving? It's because a boat just came through there, right where this fish was at. It was probably 10 seconds after the boat came through. This rod went over. Just long enough that I knew the boat didn't hit it. <laughs> I'm gonna net this one just to be safe. It's a good fish. No, oh, turn around, turn around. Come in, sucker. There we go. Oh, I got out. Bam. Uh oh, guys. Chicken is looking at a shutout today. Three fish, none of them on chicken. This could be the turn around here, guys. Turn around. Easy. Come here, girl. Ah, stop, stop. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm getting the hook out. This one here, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember if it was on Shad or if it was on the piece of bass that I had. It's a nice fish. Let go of my thumb. Let go of my thumb. You get to go back. Pretty fish. Oh, 13 pounds. Good one. Pow. Back alive. Ooh. Yeah, guys, I'm actually keeping a couple to eat, believe it or not. You don't see me throw back thousands of catfish every year. I'm keeping a couple to eat today. Uh, one of them was too big. Two of them were too big, actually. There's only fish number four that I've caught. Only two of them have been keeper size. So, had two of those bigger ones, uh, 18 and a 13. I don't keep them that big. And then this one. So, uh, I'm sitting in some shallow stuff again. Rumor is the fish are shallow. It has not exactly paid off today as far as shallow goes. Um, but I got this one. I'm gonna sit here a little while longer. Probably another 30 minutes and uh, see if I can get on another one before before it gets dark sun's heading down it's been a beautiful day beautiful day to fish last day of winter happy to be here boom there he goes there he goes there he goes did he stay button yes 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 he did got a hit on the chicken how long we've been here? Half hour? It's about how long it's taken at every stop to get bit. This is on the chicken. Day's winding down. Running out of daylight. Running out of love. <laughs> it's been a struggle, man. It's been a struggle. It has been a struggle. Little active, little active fish. How big he is. I think he's bugger grippable. He's a bugger man. Glad to get one right here at the end. Oh yeah. Looking fish if he stays buttoned. I think he's hooked good. Bam, got him. 
Not exactly happy to be in the boat. I think this will uh, go well with the other one that I wanted to keep and cook. It's a good size. Put him in the live well. He'll get eight. Good size to eat. Happy to get one in the boat. All right, guys, that's fish number five. Got a decent one there. Happy with that. Finishing up uh, finishing up good here. I'm feeling better. Feeling better about the day now. Uh, one thing I've noticed, though, we've caught five fish. Four of them have come on cut bait. Chicken has not played a role today. So uh, this has turned into still a slow day bite-wise, even for winter. But uh, dominated today. Chicken did not play a part. So, be interesting to see what happens with that as spring rolls on here and these fish start to make some of these uh, seasonal moves, chasing shad and shad start going shallow and all that kind of stuff. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Maybe a deal where you have to have shad to catch fish. Who knows? We'll see. It's like I said before, uh, one or two trips don't make a test. And, uh, this may just be a little bump in the road, or it could be the sign I've been waiting for that things are shifting. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one, and then that one. No, no do, do that one first, and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.